What we want the machine to do with the roll is we want to have it crimp, which you see here, which happens when the crop goes over the lugs. And then if the roll gap is about the thickness of a quarter or 65 thousandths, uh, it will go through there and it will make crushes like this in between the crimps. And those crushes add additional dry down. If the roll gap gets a little wide on you, like your machine has used and it's been out there a while, and the rolls wear back a few thousandths, You'll still have the crimping, but you'll lose that crushing, so it's vitally important to get maximum dry down speed when conditioning, that you have the roll gap set down at least thinner than the stem of the alfalfa. A lot of the alfalfa runs about 100,000, so when you get down to 65, you've got a good ability to crush and to crimp. This is an advantage of the rubber conditioning roll over a machine that just has a crimping ability. Crimping ability uh, gives you this effect, but that crushing is what makes the hog roll special. When uh, the crop comes through the rolls, it comes through the rubber, which is very soft compared to neoprene or some other products or steel. So if you're a leaf and you get caught on that crimp coming through, the rubber is soft enough that it's going to be a lot more gentle to the leaves. That means that we can crimp down and crush down harder without hurting the leaves, and that's where this roll of the rubber, even though this costs more than a lot of the products that we could use, rubber is going to give you the best uh, ability to get the fastest dry down without hurting